Hello and welcome back to part two of my tutorial on setting up Zero SEO, a Google Analytics alternative website. Here I have some stats from my other websites that I've installed the visitor tracking script on. It's only been a couple of days, so not a whole lot of stats here. And I'll show you guys what the analytics installation looks like. Uh, but first, let's finish up some things from the installation of this script. So back here at the documentation, I've already went over all these steps in the previous part one video. And I'll just point out a few key things, especially the cron job. Uh, you will need to set up a cron job to automatically update your website like traffic stats and things like that so to do this head over to your admin dashboard here under system cron job click on this generate api key right here it'll give you this just as uh, some random characters text and here is the important thing you need to add to your cron job in cpanel so just copy and this uh, function right here is notification once a day and then there are things like auction domain keyword rank tracking so head over to your cpanel look for cron jobs and again if you're new to this watch part one video on the cpanel and file manager uploading and things like that here again in cpanel go to cron jobs every web hosting provider should have this uh, feature and I've already set up this uh, cron job down below here. There's four of them. And this is how you do it right here. Paste in the cron job just like that. And then this one says once a day. Again, right here, you got to run this one time a day. So you can simply select here and look for once per day. And it will automatically fill out these fields for you like minute, hour, day. So that's taken care of and then just click on add new cron job and it will appear down here and I have four of them which is uh, the same right here all four and then you do the same thing with the next one copy that and then uh, once you add a new cron job these will be blank and then just paste in the new cron job and this one is again once per day so you select once per day and the next one is once per 15 minutes so let's copy that this one's a little bit different so you need to paste in the same thing once uh, and now you go up here select once per 15 minutes but it's not here so what you can do is select this one right here once per five minutes and then select from this drop down over here under the minute a row and then find once per 15 minutes and it will set up for you right here once per 15 minutes and then click on add cron job and the next thing I want to talk about is the SMTP or emailing right here this is totally optional you do not need to configure SMTP uh, zero SEO already comes default with the PHP mail already set up for you you don't need to do anything else because in the documentation it does talk about uh, SMTP right here and you do not need to mess with this so don't worry about this for now if your site gets really big with thousands of uh, new users and accounts and then maybe you can add an SMTP for more reliable uh, mailing emailing but for now starting out you do not need to mess with SMTP so those are the two things I want to highlight and then let's go back to settings and again, I briefly talked about customizing your site, like uh, the brand and logo by clicking on here under general settings. And you can click on here for the logo and just pretty much upload a new logo. Now let's go over how to just briefly sign up. So again, my website is traffic.blue and now visitors can come and sign up for free right here, sign up now. And just basically enter in the name, email, password make an account and then once they make the account they log in they can now add visitor analytics tracking to their own websites and this is what it looks like right here for the user account and it's kind of similar to the admin account now they just click on analysis tools and then they click on actions for visitor analytics 
click on add new domain and then type in your domain right here uh, just like that click on add and here is where you get your tracking code and then you copy this and then the visitors will have to add this to their own website add this to their wordpress site html site or whatever website they're using it works for any website so they would add that and then they can start getting traffic information so this is what it looks like right here in more details and i set this up in my admin account in your admin account you can also add in uh, domains and visitor tracking as well so it's the same thing if you're a user or an admin you can add visitor analytics tracking for any of your websites so in this example right here is for my website right here articlespinnerreviews.com and here's the visitor analysis report and again it's similar to google analytics it's just another alternative and i think it's very uh, beginner friendly because right now google analytics is kind of confusing and complicated to use and set up so here's an example of my google analytics for one of my other websites and you can see it's uh, quite complicated and if you compare it with this right here it's just a lot easier to look at like total traffic you get direct uh, search engine or social networks and then you get just big friendly looking charts and the details let's click on overview so everything is just here nice and easy comparing this to google analytics uh, just to even add a new website into your account it's already kind of confusing so you have to go to admin and then you have to create an account and then you have to create the property for this account and all these buns and features like data stream this is for like very uh, enterprise level kind of tracking that a lot of beginner uh, webmasters may not even need most of these features i never even use and then once you're here like to create a property that's that means pretty much a website because nowadays a property you can track other things like apps and websites and a lot of uh, webmasters don't even need to track apps so this is because google analytics is so advanced that it's just so complicated and then you have right here let's enter in a website as an example and then you have to select the currency and tracking uh, conversions and then right here universal analytics properties and you want to use the old old style so it's just not user friendly anymore i think for google analytics and for advanced users google analytics is the best and it's obviously going to be way way more advanced than uh, what zero seo but comparing the two if you're a beginner and new this is a lot easier to use and it's also a good idea for a Google Analytics alternative because some people they may not want to have or give details to Google because Google has a lot of information, a lot of power and some companies uh, or website owners just don't want to give Google any more details so they may need a Google Analytics alternative uh, for visitor tracking so this is for them as well so anyhow uh, this is very user friendly and you can see here uh, it has very similar details to Google Analytics, but minus all the confusing advanced features. And for example, here you, you get to see top web pages from your own websites. You get to see the countries, uh, the browser report. So it's very uh, similar again. So this is uh, in a nutshell, in Zero SEO, visitor analysis, tracking, and you can install this on any of your websites and offer this to your visitors and members. So overall, Zero SEO, it works uh, great. I like it, I recommend it. If you're looking for a Google Analytics alternative or offering a tracking service to your own visitors and members, this is a great script. Very easy to install and use. Uh, beginner friendly, user friendly, has a lot of good features and works right out of the box without any kind of extensive editing or coding i hope you find this helpful and i'll leave uh, the link down below for you to check out zero seo and also to my website here so you can sign up and make a demo for yourself and see how it all works and thanks for checking out this uh, review and 
set up tutorial video on Zero SEO. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments down below. Thanks so much for viewing. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, How to Webmaster, for more internet marketing tips, tricks, and more website building tutorials. Thanks again, and until next time, happy marketing.